Hello, my name is Collection Connoisseur. I collect digital thingamabobs and video games, and today I'm playing Hollow Knight. Last time on Hollow Knight, I defeated 40 bosses in a row, and the game did not consider that enough to qualify for a fifth Pantheon win. This time, I will be targeting a different thing in the God Home. I will be targeting the, the painter in the Hall of the Gods. I'm going to try to defeat the Radiant version of the Painter near the beginning of this episode, hopefully. That is... right over here. I should be wearing a good set of charms, but let's check. It's not how you check. Also not how you check. <laughs> how do I check? So, that's a good set of charms. That's what I was wearing during the Pantheon. That that makes sense that that would be a good set of charms. Alright, Paintmaster Shio. Let's go. So, I think the attuned version will be just fine, and partly that's because I'm... I just fought the attuned version of... Shio last episode, so I'm not as rusty in this battle as I was going to be if I had fought this the last episode like I had originally planned. But even though I'm not as rusty, I still am rusty, and that means that I will need to learn some before I can defeat a Radiant version of this boss. The Ascended version might even be hard based on what I'm doing right now. My success so far tells me that a, a the Radiant version might take me some attempts, but we'll see. Here we go, that was the attuned version. Ascended should be no problem. And my goal is really to learn how to dodge everything. The only one that I I think that I don't know how to dodge all the time is the red one, where he jumps up into the air. The other ones I know how to dodge, I just need to be better about it. So that is the yellow, that's the red. So the red, I just still need to learn, I think. That's yellow. I was expecting a red there. Got hit by a blue instead. There's a yellow. Yeah, I, th I think that I... I know this battle pretty well, actually. He telegraphs his moves pretty well. So I can... I think that the radiant version of this actually won't be so bad. I mean... Clearly, I have to do better than I am right now. I've gotten hit several times. But I was thinking that it might take, like, 12 attempts or 10 attempts or something, and now I believe that it will not take me that many attempts. Alright, we're not actually done with this boss yet. I need to, I need to pay attention, and it would actually be good for me to learn a little bit more. So let me, let me actively learn while I'm going here. Learn to dodge. That one is easy to dodge. In fact, when he's doing the purple one, I could hit him with a spell. That would be a good time to hit him with a spell. So purple means spell. Remember to bow to the paint master. Ascended no problem. Now for Radiant. I'm going to guess five tries. That's my initial guess of how long this is going to take me. I wonder if that is overly confident or not confident enough. So, that's a spell time. Aha, uh -huh. this is going well. 
spell. All right, we got him down one. Oh gosh. I should have been trying to figure out what he was about to do, rather than trying to take advantage of him being right in front of me and hitting him. <laughs> Always think of dodging before hitting. Think of dodging before hitting. But yeah, I think that I know I know his moves well enough that I can I can dodge every one of them. Aha. That time I thought of dodging before I thought of hitting. And that is the way of the world. When fighting radiant versions of bosses. Spell? I'm only doing one spell there because Ooh, I got hit by one of the bouncy blues. I only did one spell there, even though I know that there's time to do two, because if I do two, then I might have to think faster or, or notice what he's going to do next a little bit more in a more alert or difficult way. So I think I'd rather do one spell until I get used to G's. <laughs> Apparently the blue is the problem. The blue attack is what I need to dodge. So come on. This is my fourth try, I believe. He had the blue. I was scared because he had the blue. The blue is also what he has by default, which means that I would always be scared, which might be appropriate. I... I did not see what I got hit by. I assume I got hit by a purple one that came from the sky. <laughs> well, I think this is the fifth try. If I am correct, then I will win this... this time. Oh gosh, almost did not jump well. I did not have enough soul to to hit him, but I did try. There we go. Oh gosh, almost got hit by the blue again. I thought that the red would be the problem, and actually I've learned how to dodge the red pretty effectively. So, blue, red, I like the yellow. The yellow is probably the easiest to dodge. Okay. Blue. I was had to think of what he was doing there, which is not good. I should know it very well, but it took me a second to figure out what he was doing. All right, the yellow is easy. The blue is hard. Purple is fine, though you have to watch out for the the ones that fall from the sky. Yellow is fine. Blue, danger. Blue means danger. All right. Purple. Ooh, I shot twice. That was a little bit dangerous. Blue. There's a blue again. Red. And did it. That was five tries, wasn't it? Let's bow. And I'm pretty happy with my estimation. How about that? Cool. So one of the main reasons I did that, in case you didn't figure it out already, is having done that, I'm going to try to beat the second Pantheon with all four bindings. And I believe that Paint Master Shio was the only one that I would have been scared about in this pantheon with all four bindings. So let's go. Now, as I recall from my previous four bindings attempts, the main thing about having four bindings is that it takes a long time to defeat the bosses because the, the nail bindings combined with the the charm binding is real bad. Heal once. When there's a good time to heal, you basically want to heal because you can only heal 
once at a time. And you do not want to waste your heals on bad times to heal. But I, I don't feel any danger with zero here. I just have to get back into my thoughts about how you do the all four bindings. By the way, he hasn't gotten to his second phase yet. He has another phase where he brings out an, another two knives. So we're doing so little damage that he hasn't even gotten to his second phase yet. I keep thinking about... Oh, there he goes. So now he's in his second phase. I keep thinking about doing that spell. Pretty happy with where I positioned that spell. Alright, let's heal once. Ooh, I can't heal because I don't have this soul. If we go too far away from him, then he can't hit us. Haha. The tricks. The tricks I will employ against you, Zero. You don't even know. There's so much going on in the world that you do not understand. That is a good spell to hit Zero with, I think. Now, I do want to generally use spells sparingly, because again, I only have the one the one-third of a soul egg to use, so every time I use a spell, I'm basically taking away the soul that I could use to heal. Alright, don't get hit by the Crystal Guardian. It's really easy to dodge the Crystal Guardian as long as you don't get too aggressive. So. It's also very easy to get too aggressive on the Crystal Guardian, because I think this fight is so easy, it'll be over so fast. But it will not be when you have the nail binding. That was a little bit harder to dodge than normal. Alright. So, of the 41 bosses, and let me repeat that, 41 bosses that I fought last time, there were only a handful that gave me trouble. Markoth was hard, and Umu was hard. Both of those, they were really hard only because of the, of the changes to the layout of the boss battle. Markoth, I, I had never seen that layout before. I, I mean, I hadn't seen it for Umu either, but for Umu, I don't think the layout bothered me as much as it did as the Markoth layout change. But those were those were the ones that were not so bad. Oh, and, and Umu, by the way, because I don't know if you just know all the bosses by heart. Umu is the giant jellyfish. Markoth is the one that has the, the shield circling him all the time. Another one that gave me some trouble was the Mantis Lords slash the Sisters of Battle. They didn't give me a lot of trouble, but having three of them on the screen at one time attacking me was significantly harder than having two of them on the screen attacking me. The other one where the boss changed, where the harder version of the boss was more significant, was Nosk. So I, I think I actually went down health a fair amount in the Nosk battle, the flying Nosk battle. But really, that was because I was encountering that for the very first time. And I think I did pretty well with it, encountering it the first time and learning how the boss worked. I think I actually did pretty well. So I'm not worried about Nosk in the future in that pantheon. 
even though it gave me some trouble that time. The Nightmare King Grim almost killed me in the Pantheon. I definitely need to learn the Nightmare King Grim again. Alright, time for the crazy phase. The crazy phase is the only part of this battle that I'm a little bit worried about. And I'm worried about it because I sometimes get hit when he falls down at me. And before that's never been a problem because I could always heal as much as he hit me. But this time, he's going to do that more often because I won't be able to kill him in one go like I have with all of my charms and nail upgrades. And I can only heal once, so I really want to not get hit by this attack. I'm paying a little bit more attention to that. Gosh, that's kind of a hard place for you to use your spell. I wonder how many phases of this it's going to take me, because with all of my upgraded damage, I can do that in one phase, sometimes two. And I think the sometimes two was on the Soul Tyrant, not the Soul Master. It took me three on this, on the Soul Master with all the bindings. The Oblobbles. Woo! I like the Oblobbles. The Oblobbles are fun. Also, I'm trying to get them into the position where they're bouncing off of each other again, because I just thought that was really fun last time. Let's heal that one damage. I really don't want to have that one damage last. I just discovered a problem with my desire to have them bouncing off of each other. <laughs> I have to get on the other side of them. Okay, let's heal. I want to heal the damage as I take it in this battle, I think. Ooh. I took some damage that I don't think I'm going to be able to heal for a little while. Let's heal. I wonder if you can try to make it so that the one that survives, like try to deal them both a fair amount of damage, or the same amount of damage, so that when you go to the second phase, the one has less health. Not sure if that's a thing, but I'm curious whether it's a thing. Let's heal. Uh, you're a little bit too close to me, sir. I don't like your distancing. I'm having to heal a lot in this battle, which bothers me. I don't think the Oblobble should be giving me as much trouble as they are. Alright, one down. Let's heal. And then we have to get pretty close to this one to hit it, which is a little bit of a problem. But remember, be careful. It does not matter how long this Pantheon takes to defeat. The point is that you defeat it. Let's heal. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Don't worry about hitting him. He's too far away. One hit, and then dodge. Oh, I did two hits, and I got hit, so clearly one hit and then dodge is the plan. One hit, dodge. One hit, dodge. Oh, did not get my hit in. It's okay. Taking our time. Taking our time, being careful. Oh gosh. Try to get too many hits in. Oh, he hit me. Don't like that. Let's heal. I definitely want to come out of this fight fully healthy. Uh, he's far too close to me. Get away. One hit at a time does make the boss take a while, but remember, patience is what you want. You want to come out with lots of health. You don't care how long it takes. Oh gosh, that was awful. 
heal. Okay, so we have to... We have to heal after getting the requisite soul. Don't worry about it doing it quickly. Let's worry about doing it at all. Whoa! Darn. Heal. Okay. Now we need the requisite soul again. Darn. I... I got in a second hit. The second hit was what caused me to get damaged there. It's not important to get a second hit. It's important to survive. Darn. I have one health down. The Mantis Lords. Now this should be the the simple form of the Mantis Lords, not the Sisters of Battle form, right? Let's heal. Great. Now we're at full health, and I think that the Mantis Lords will be no problem for me. I thought that the Oblobbles would be no, no problem for me, and they were more of a problem than I expected. But come on, I know how to fight the Mantis Lords. And it kinda doesn't matter how long it goes. Because I also know how to heal in the Mantis battle. So if I get hit, I'll just heal it. At the opportune moments. Oop, I got hit surprisingly. I think I got hit by his foot. I was talking about the the bosses that gave me trouble in the fifth pantheon, and I think I was talking about the Nightmare Grim last. The Nightmare Grim almost killed me, so I need to get better at that battle. One of the other ones that gave me trouble was Sly the Great Nail Sage. I haven't fought Sly the Great Nail Sage in a while, but I, I also think he's just a hard boss. He is the Great Nail Sage for a reason. And so I, I need to learn the Great Nail Sage fight. I don't think I ever have learned it. In fact, I think that I've only fought it at the end of the third pantheon twice. And I've never fought him in the Fall of the Gods. Oh, I got hit by the foot again. Now, this is a place to heal. As long as the as the height of the flying discs, the discuses, are a good distance from your head. If they are, then you can heal. And then of course the pure vessel. The pure vessel is is a hard battle. I have gotten good at the pure vessel, but still, the pure vessel is a hard battle, and I need to get better at the pure vessel fight. Let's bow to them too. Bow to the Mantis Lords. Alright, are we at the end? Is this the painter? No. Too hopeful. This fight, I think, is actually a problem. For one, the fact that I don't have my longer nail makes this battle a lot harder. And there is absolutely no time to heal in this battle. So I've taken two damage, and I need to make it so that I don't take a lot more of that damage. Ooh, I timed that wrong. I was very lucky that he disappeared because I timed my hit wrong, but then he disappeared so he didn't actually run into me. Okay, I'm almost dead. I could die at this boss. Nope, I did not die. So let's heal up, and hopefully we can heal up more in the next boss. Nosk. Nosk, not a great boss to heal on. What's he doing? Okay, that's what I was hoping that he was doing. Just have to 
have him run around. If he's running around, we're okay. Oop, darn it. Okay, let's heal now. That was apparently an okay time to heal, but it wasn't the best heal that I've done. Alright, this is a good time to heal. Great. Healing up in the Nosk battle. I've gotten a lot better at Nosk if I can heal up during the Nosk battle. Okay, what is he doing? He's jumping around. I do not like him jumping around. And Nosk killed me. Darn. Well, I, I'm just gonna run that back. Do that again. I might skip some of the early parts of this Pantheon, just so that this video doesn't last very long. Hello, welcome back. I'm definitely starting back here at Marmu with you, because I did so poorly at Marmu the last time, and Marmu contributed to my eventual defeat by putting damage on me. So, can I do better at Marmu this time? I would like to imagine that I can, but honestly, I think I know the Marmu battle well, and it's just a matter of can I pull off the timing each time. And I don't think I'm just better at the timing than I was last time. There's only so much better at this fight that I can get, and I don't know, but see, the timing is hard. Alright, well, I went down one health on Marmu. Let's see how I do against Nosk. And as I learned last time... Oh gosh. I actually do have some places that I know that I can heal against Nosk. Like right here. Good time to heal against Nosk. I don't like it when he's jumping at me. I like it when he runs at me. Oh gosh, I wasn't sure if that was going to hit me or not. There we go, let's heal. Great, I'm full against Nosk. I've learned his running pattern pretty well. It's when he spits out those that I think he's the most dangerous, as well as when he's jumping. Jumping is bad for me. Oh right, I forgot that he... He follows you with that attack. I forgot that because I haven't fought Nosk in a while, and that's not how it worked with the flying Nosk. Oh gosh, he landed directly on me. That was unlucky, I think. Alright, come out. When he spits that like that, it's the most dangerous thing he does to me, I think. Okay, so that's coming. We know that it follows you. And what is he doing? I don't know. Jumping. I don't like the jumping. The jumping is surprisingly dangerous. Gosh. Also, he jumps on me sometimes. I don't like that. Oh, I think... I think where the things fall are indicating where Nosk is. So if you just stand next to where the last thing lands, then he's gonna fall on you. Yeah, okay. Great, so there is a way to, to dodge that effectively. Okay, this is a good time to heal. And I did not get hit by those, but I really could have. Where is it? He's above. Alright. Above is no problem. Run at me. I like it when you run at me. Oh, I hit him twice that time. Great, so you can tell where he's going to fall down. 
I think that's brilliant, and I wish I had known that before. I just figured that out this particular time. Oh gosh, run away. This is a good time to heal. And hopefully dodge those. I say hopefully because I'm not, not sure if I'm dodging those effectively myself. Or if I'm just kind of oh gosh. Heal. Oh, cannot heal. Don't have the don't have the soul. Heal now. I think he's above. Yep. Okay, I want you to run at me. There we go. Run at me again. Don't like that. Run at me. Run at me. And I heal. I'm back up to full. Great, so we defeated Nosk this time. Still, I could get better at that. The Fluke Marm. So, with all four bindings, does it take me two hits to defeat those? It does not. Okay, good. Because that's what I was really worried about. That's the only way that I think this could be hard, is if I could not defeat those little ones. Gosh, let's heal. Gosh. Let's heal again. I need to get back into a position where I can actually do things. There we go. Ooh. The timing on those was off. I'm doing very poorly on this, but I still think that it's going to be not too bad. I can constantly heal, basically. I think when I originally was fighting this Pantheon, I considered this a good heal time after Nosk. And that basically is the way that it is here, too. I'm doing so poorly in this fight, and I'm still having no trouble at all. Like, I got hit so many times, and I'm still ending the fight with all my masks and my third of a soul egg. Alright, Broken Vessel. Remember from last time that the danger is when he jumps. Because apparently jumping is his most dangerous move for me. Him trying to attack me, no problem. Him jumping, now that's a problem. By the way, I have some guesses at the 5th Pantheon, now that I have fought the 5th Pantheon once. I'm guessing that, for one, you fight every single enemy in the game, in that 5th Pantheon. Except for a couple of the battles that are basically the same, just an easier version of the same boss. Now, there are fights in that Pantheon where you are fighting an easier version of the same boss as you fight earlier in that Pantheon, but I don't think it does that for all of the bosses. Let me be a little bit more careful here. Darn. Tried to be more careful and I still got hit at that part. Oh, sad. I am one health down. So who's next? Next is Painter Shio. I'm drawing thyself closer to the god. So we have beaten Shio on his Radiant version very recently. Oh gosh. Already I've made mistakes. I've made so many mistakes. Okay, this is a time to heal. And basically we have to take all of those healing times. Oh gosh. I died to Shio. Ugh. After the practice, too. Well, you know what? 
I am going to play through that again. You are going to skip most of it. I'll probably pick you back up when I get to Shio again. Hello, welcome back. I'm here again, going in against the painter. I still had trouble with both Nosk and Marmu, but as you may have noticed, those are the only ones that I've had trouble with, and I haven't had, other than the first time where I died to Nosk, still don't have much to be worried about there. So, the painter, I feel like I should be able to do just fine against due to all of my practice that I've done. I'm actually pretty surprised that I did poorly against him the first time I got to him in this pantheon, in this uh, particular challenge in this pantheon. I did have a thought that I never finished, that I, I do want to finish. I was talking about my guesses for the fifth pantheon. So I said that I believe we'll be fighting every boss in the game, minus some of the easier versions of a couple bosses. Now I fought 41 bosses in that pantheon, and my guess is that there are 42. Because for one, there's only 44 that show up on the Hall of the Gods plaque, there are space for 44 bosses there. Let me see if I can heal at some point here. I need him to do the purple one so that I can heal. Or he can be staggered. There we go. As I was saying, there are 44 places on that Hall of the Gods marker for bosses, which means there are 44 bosses. I think we'll be skipping a couple of those. A couple of the ones that are just easier versions of the same bosses that were already in the Pantheon. And then I also think that you would have that Pantheon end with the Pure Vessel and then a harder version of the Radiant. I haven't seen a harder version of the Radiant yet and I firmly believe it exists. It seems like the thing that would be the boss for the fifth Pantheon. So those are my guesses about the 5th Pantheon. What I expect to find there. As you can tell, this battle is going just fine. I actually don't have any trouble with the painter anymore, now that I've practiced all those times. The blue one is still the problem, right? But there we go. That was the second Pantheon, completed with all four bindings. And we should get a golden thing here. Great. 20 minutes and 35 seconds. I don't know if that was really fast. It should be fast. I was going through the bosses faster than I did the first time. Again, just because I had more practice. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Don't know how long it was because we skipped a lot. Next time, I'm not going to be in the God Home. I'm going to venture out into the other parts of this world. In this episode, I defeated my 20th Radiant Battle in the Hall of the Gods, and I also defeated the second Pantheon using all four bindings, which to my calculation is plus 14 on the challenges. If that's confusing, think of it as two Pantheons down, three to go. New episodes every Sunday, and thanks for watching.